I'm sure I'm not the only one that gets frustrated and kind of laughs to himself when I see on social media posts that go something like 15 year old deadlifting eight plates. Automatically, I'm like, the hell is this, man? Like, I'm a 33 year old man. I'm a man, I'm double that kid's age. And he's deadlifting two more plates than me. And then you click on the video, you see the thing, and you're like, Jesus Christ, look at that thing. Some of these guys are coming out of the woodworks, man. And as powerlifting, Olympic weightlifting, as the whole gym environment, you know, gets larger and larger, it's going to attract more and more people, obviously, and going to find, you know, we're going to find these people that are just gifted for particular endeavors like powerlifting. Uh, some of these people have like short legs, super long arms, you know, and <laughs> they, they, they just seem so freaking upright. And then, then they do sumo. It's like perfectly upright and it just seems like a leg press, you know, and you see that you're like, it makes sense why they're doing that, that much weight. You know, and then I see myself lift and it's just like such a mechanical disadvantage. You know, I look at myself, I've got these long legs and short arms. You know, it's like the prototypical bad power lifter. Somebody that has short arms. So I'm 6'1". My, I don't even know what my wingspan is, but it's five or six centimeters shorter than my, than my uh, height, right? Uh, and my logs are, are long. You know, you guys know how I squat and how I deadlift and how I try to sumo. It's like all awkward and stuff. Uh, so I'm not built for squatting because of the long legs. I'm not built for deadlifting because of my short arms. Fair enough, if my arms were the same uh, uh, length as my height, that will kind of be, okay, that's all right. You know, we can make it work because I've got that short torso percentage to my height. But, you know, I'm not built for squatting. I'm not built for deadlifting. Really, the only thing I've got going for me is, is short arms. I could probably bench. And bench is one of those things that, for me, even if I leave it for a whole bunch of time, I come back to it and I'm semi all right. I mean, I'm not anywhere as to what guys my weight and you know height and are doing, obviously. But I've never really cared for it. It's kind of like the thing that I don't care about at all is the thing I am most most built for. I kind of touched on this stuff last night in yesterday's video. Um, it's 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 crazy, man. Yeah. Uh, messaging a few of you guys back and forth and a few of you guys are going through kind of some bad relationship breakups and you know uh going through some tough times and and you know it just kind of occurred to me there's like a i don't know what what, what you call that in life or sort of philosophy but it's almost like the girl that you kind of have the hard girl to get the hardest girl to get is the one you fall in love with and it's kind of tears you apart because you can't get her but you want her um it's maybe it's human nature you know it's kind of what makes us evolve makes us grow you know it's that ferrari that everyone wants is that mansion that everyone wants it's impossible to get it's really hard to get but we want it and that's kind of what drives us and pushes us and you know makes us you know keep going you know but in powerlifting it's it's kind of like that you know i i'm not built for this stuff but because of my short arms because of my poor leverages just through living life, I've developed a strong back because, well, I've got this short ass arm, so I got to bend over a whole bunch, man. Even if I want to pick something off the ground, I got to bend over more than the average guy, right? I've got these long legs and short arms, which means I got to bend over, right? Uh, whether you're working in the garden, pulling some weeds, or you're mowing the lawn, or you're digging, or whatever the hell you're doing, it's like you're living in that body, and because of that, let's say disadvantage, you develop an advantage because of the repetitive let's say overusing the bent over position and it's kind of like you know you don't want to get into that mentality oh you know i've got bad leverages and that's it you don't want to conclude that quickly you know there's something that i've always spoken about is that whole thing about you know oh, yeah, it's my hip impingement i'm you know i've got bad hip structure you know uh, deep sockets hip sockets and so i can't do this that the other that might well be true. I'm not saying it's not true. Definitely, there's a lot of information on the line for you you know, to do self-tests and work out what's going on. But before we get to that situation, man, you got to free up some of that soft tissue, man. You got to free up some of that soft tissue. A lot of these guys are like, no, it's a hard tissue. No, man. Free up some of these muscles. And I've said in the past, you want to squat ATG? Okay. Can you touch your toes you know, with straight, uh, straight legs? You know, Can you do splits this way, that way? If you can't do some of these soft tissue uh, ranges of motion, let's not talk about squatting and, and, and doing like the, the bony stuff, right? You can't blame 
just, oh, you know, I don't have the genes that I will, you know, I don't have the femurs, I don't have this. That's loser mentality, man. You know, I, I talk about some of these things, how I'm not built for certain things. But man, I am 900 and freaking 60 odd days into this, man. Uh, like, because things are hard for me, let's say, in my mind, I've concluded things are harder for me than the guy that's 15 years old pulling eight plates. Like, God damn, man, I've, I've got more years on the planet. I've got more experience on the planet. I would like to think that I have more intelligence than a 15-year-old. Like, my Lord, like, I've been around the game. I've, I've heard a lot of people, you know, 15 years, I don't know, man. Like, the guy could be a genius. But, like, I'm sitting back and I'm like, I should be better than this guy. But this guy is better than me. So, before I just say, oh, you know, I'm not made for this. I have to... It just, it just draws me in, man. I don't know. Maybe it's my personality and it's how I operate, but the, the hard things attract me, you know, and through this attraction, through this work, I've developed a strength. I've got a strong back. Now, I don't know if that 15-year-old could lead lift more weight than me if we somehow got him on a, to stand off a whole bunch of blocks, right? And we get him to start off with the same back angle as me. Maybe his weight then severely drops back. Like if, if I got him to do a conventional deadlift like me and we get him to stand on a whole bunch of freaking boxes, like 25 meter boxes. So we make up for the length of his arms and then we could do a side by side comparison and, and we kind of go, okay, the angles are the same. Let's see who's stronger. He might well be still stronger. Like I'm not saying that, but I, the, there are some people who are just freaking gifts to, to, to whatever they're doing. You know, I'm, I'm, I follow the NBA, right? And, and, the NBA has become a freaking joke, man. Like, there's so many athletes coming out of the woodworks now who are basically playing five positions. Seven feet tall, can run, duck and weave and dunk and dribble and shoot and, and box out and block and rebound. Everything, man. And now these people are learning how to shoot threes. I don't know what the new guys in the NBA is, like seven footer, Chad or something. Uh, I remember his last name is. Seven footer. Seven footer, man, he can shoot, dribble, pass, he can do all of that. He's seven feet tall, man. 20 years ago, th there was never anything like that, man. But now the game is evolving, you know, and, and so these guys who are getting born right now are going to see guys in the NBA in five or 10 years' time, 15 years' time, whatever, and they're going to be exposed to guys like, I don't know, like Giannis and this new guy, Ched, and, and all these guys who are playing everything, and the game continues to evolve, right? It's kind of like the powerlifting, you know, the more we, you know, lift and the more we talk about lifting and the community keeps growing, more and more of these kids who are coming new onto the scene are learning more and more information. Like the information that we have right now is not the same information that was readily available 50 years ago, man. 50 years ago, people were like, you got to find a magazine and read a few paragraphs here and there. Now you can literally read a PhD report every night if you just have the time to read through stuff. And you know, it's growing, so we're finding better talent, better proportions, if you, if you, if you will, athletes out there. Um, but having all of that said, you as an individual doesn't mean you sit there in the corner and you start crying. Oh, look at my freaking short arms, my T-Rex arms. I can't even brush my teeth at night because they're so damn short. Oh, my God, let's cry. No, man, like because you have these short arms, I, I'd probably say that you have a pretty strong back because you have to freaking bend over a whole bunch to pick up your damn shoes off the floor. You know, you always have to kind of lean over and stuff. So is that going to make you a really good deadlifter? Probably not. Uh, but you're still going to have pretty good strength to come out of those weaknesses. It's kind of like, I don't know what the analogy is if I kind of think about basketball. Somebody that, I don't know, he's really, really small, right? You know, Muggsy Bogues. He's like five foot five or whatever the hell he was, right? He can't really come up and dunk on somebody, but he's really, really quick, right? And so he makes up for his lack of height and, and leaping ability through his, you know, he just gets forced to work really hard on his ability to read plays, to, you know, dribble really well and shoot really well. Otherwise, he won't survive. It's kind of like, don't let your weaknesses defeat you. You know, let them grow you. Um, that's kind of how I look at these things, man. You know, I, you know, somebody that has something come easy to them might not develop the same passion that I developed, right? I'm, I've done 900 or 60 odd days in a row of squatting, not because it was freaking easy for me. It's because it's hard, man. It's hard. It's a freaking headache. And uh, I'm 960 days on. And, and there you go. 
right? It didn't come easy to me, but I'm really proud of the fuel that I received from the, from the, from the struggle of that to do 960 days. So I'm sitting back right now. I'm like, I'm really happy that I was able to do this thing, this endurance run of, you know, string all these days in a row. So you can always find a positive, even out of a weakness, out of a negative. It just takes the, the right mentality. Guys, I got to get out of here, go to bed, have a sleep, and then go to a night shift. I'll catch you guys on the other side. Appreciate all of you guys on the list, Patreon list, Instagram and YouTube comments. I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace out.